Mercenary by Mac Reynolds Part 1 Joseph Mauser spotted the recruiting lineup from two or three blocks down the street, shortly after driving into Kingston. The local offices of vacuum tube transport, undoubtedly. Baron Hare would be doing his recruiting for the fracas with Continental hovercraft there, if for no other reason than to save on rents. The Baron was watching pennies on this one, and that was bad. In fact, it was so bad that even as Joe Mauser let his sports hovercar sink to a parking level and vaulted over its side, he was still questioning his decision to sign up with the vacuum tube outfit rather than with their opponents. Joe was an old pro, and old pros do not get to be old pros in the category military without developing an instinct to stay away from losing sides. Fine enough for low-lowers and mid-lowers to sign up with this outfit as opposed to that, motivated by no other reasoning than the snappiness of the uniform and the stock shares offered. But an old pro considered carefully such matters as budget. Baron Hare was watching every expense, was, it was rumored, figuring on commanding himself and calling upon relatives and friends for his staff. Continental Hovercraft, on the other hand, was heavy with variable capital, and was in a position to hire Stonewall Cogswell himself for their tactician. However, the die was cast. You didn't run up a cast level, not to speak of two at once, by playing it careful. Joe had planned this out. For once, old pro or not, he was taking risks.